Welcome to today's 3D print. I have more Christmas prints. Who doesn't like Christmas prints? Stay tuned. So first up, snowflakes. I found this snowflake on Thingiverse. It was snowflake number 23. There's a bunch of them. I'm going to try to print a bunch of them. And I printed it in blue and white. This is the twinkling Zyro filaments, blue and white. I'm out of the blue now, so eh, that sucks. But hopefully they'll restock it and I can get some more of the blue because I really love the Zyro twinkling blue. But these are very cool. Links will be down in the description for where to get these STL files. Then I found this. It's a little snowflake ornament. That's a spinner. So it spins. It's a little ornament you hang on your tree. And it's print in place. It prints like that. I had to I had to pry it free to get it out of here. To break it free of the hinge, but it, it was intact, it handled it fine. There's two dimples inside there and there's two points on here. And because they're both touching the bre the bed, it is able to print them together. But that's pretty cool. What you can do is you can squeeze it from top to bottom and work it around a bit until you smooth out the plastic and then it'll spin more freely when you go to spin it from the sides. Pretty cool. I like that. This is today's 3D print. So of course, I had to supersize it. And I made this. This is a uh, on the i3 Mega. And I ran out of filament halfway through. I kind of figured it would. I want to see what would happen. I didn't know how far it would get. Got to about 35%. And it stopped and waited. And most importantly, while this can't work for power off or zoom, it does work for filament run out. It kept the heaters on. Now that's going to hydrolyze some of that filament in the nozzle, but by keeping the heated bed on, it did not auto release. It stayed attached. By the way, if you have trouble with stuff releasing from the i3 Mega print bed, the AnyCubic print bed, increase the temperature. Because I keep it so cold in the house here, you know, 55 degrees or so, um, 60 degrees, 55, 60. Um, I had trouble getting the filament to stick. I thought I just didn't like this filament. No, it was just too cold. I raised the bed temperature to 70C, no problem. I think 60 would be enough, but I just said screw it, raise it to 70C. So I printed the rest of it in clear. So now half of this is clear and half of it's blue, and I think it looks amazing. I plan to hang this up outside. I want to see how long it lasts, but I love that. And again, this is print in place. This printed on the printer as you see it, and obviously it's bigger, so the tolerances were higher, so there's more wiggle room in here. So there wasn't even any stick. It spun immediately the moment I took it off the bed. And the printer did a fantastic job of printing it. I also decided let's do something classic. Your classic gold star for your Christmas tree. So I also printed that. This was printed with Pryline red copper filament. And it was printed on the JG Aurora A5, which I am having a great time with. It's so far working out very well. But here is the tree topper star. Aurora did a fantastic job, and this was sliced with Cura. I had no problems getting Cura to work, it works fine. There you go, some more Christmas prints. You all already saw the little Santa gnome that I made on the Ender 2, so I decided to make a slightly larger Santa gnome on the JG Aurora A5. And that's what I'm gonna put here. So he's a little bigger. So this one I'm going to paint, and I'll show him off later when I'm done painting him. You guys have a great night. 